I know sorry someone bought me these glasses and so I'm just showing them off a little bit anyhow I know I have been gone for some time um, yes I do apologize so much for that I've been busy 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 like at the moment 24 hours in a day just is not enough for me um, I have been busy as you know as I'm always doing I'm blogging I started a second blog and I've been blogging on that as well so literally my time and everything has just been totally sucked so um, if I'm not on YouTube I will be hiding behind a laptop just typing away and getting some things done so that's where I've been um, what else yes what I did want to come on to share with you guys was that um, about it's been over a month now probably about six weeks to two months ago gosh that's how long it's been since I've done a video but anyway about six weeks to about two months ago we had a car accident and I know we've had a car accident before but this one was like a serious serious car accident like no joke um, so I just want to put my other glasses on yeah it was like a serious accident we were it was a Sunday it was Sunday morning and we were just minding our own business driving down the street um, just you know the, we're at a traffic light and the traffic light turned green for us to go we started going and then this 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 motorbike came in front of us Vroom. and he literally just missed us and then another one came and they weren't so lucky they went straight into our car the front of our car there was two people on the motorbike without helmets the motorbike and the people just flew up into the air i mean it was the most surreal thing i've ever seen i mean like when you watch films and you see accidents happen it's completely different to when you're in the accident and you see it yourself it's crazy like we had these two guys that like on the roadside and so like remember my husband he broke because he was driving at the time and all you could hear was the screech of the tires and you actually smelt the burning rubber because he had to brake so hard even though he wasn't even going that fast and i mean you just hear this the screeching from the tires it was like ee! and then all of us and the children in the car as well and they were like really shaken up everyone was shaken up the guys that were on the motorbike they weren't um, they weren't so lucky they were like really i mean they didn't die or anything thank god but they were really 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 badly hurt one of them had actually um scraped his face on the pavement so like all here and all down his arm you could just see naked flesh i mean it was horrible like oh, even when i think about it i get the shudders because it, like he had he was really i mean i've never seen an accident like that before but it, i mean his face his arm everywhere he was just he was just he it's like someone had actually just gotten um like a potato peeler and just started peeling off his skin like that it was awful and the other guy he was really badly hurt as well he was told in his head he couldn't even walk actually and there was just blood everywhere everywhere absolutely everywhere it was the, the worst thing. i never want to see anything like that ever again in my life obviously we were all shaken up as well it was not nice um, but thankfully because we weren't going that fast none of us was hurt but our car was totally the front of our car was totally wrecked and so um, and then everyone came out running you know all the like the street talkers and stuff like that they were like oh 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 we keep telling you people on the motorbike yeah, be careful be careful motorbikes in Ghana are horrendous they are the thing to cause the most accidents in Ghana and these people I mean there were two of them on the bike and they weren't even wearing helmets I mean it was so dangerous now when I see a motorbike when we're riding I'm like oh gosh please no but anyway to cut a long story short I don't need to tell you too much about the horrifics but it was a horrible experience um, it actually happened opposite the um, police airport um, and so the police came out to see what happened they took the bike um, and the guys who were injured had to go to hospital so a cab took them to hospital um, and so we had to go to the police station with our car they took the car from us and we basically had to we had to leave everything and they wanted 200 cities from us for the DVLA to come out and inspect the car the next day and they wanted us to write a report so we spent about an hour or so in the hot sun waiting for this you know the guy to take down all our details and stuff like that then i gave him 200 cities anyway i gave him to the police officer 200 cities and then i said oh can i have a receipt and he said if you we don't he said we don't give that here he said if you if, if you want a receipt then you should go to DFLA and do it there but they'll waste your time if you go there and then to be honest with you, I was still so shaken up. I was actually literally shaking. But because I was so shaken up, I just handed over the money. I didn't even give 
I didn't even I didn't even think about anything and obviously my concern obviously was with the the two guys who had just been hurt even though it wasn't our fault I kind of felt a bit of responsibility that it was our car and but to be fair we came off the worst because our the front of our car was totally gone so we paid this money then we um, took an uber back home we just I think when we got home we all just sat down like just sat on the sofa and we were just like we just couldn't believe it the day was just so surreal and then I remember um, I spoke to my auntie afterwards and she's like ah you gave the police officer 200 she said that's number one stealing she said no you don't do that you should have called me and I was and I mean she was so right I should have called her but honestly my brain just wasn't functioning at the time so the guy the police officer obviously was very good he um got himself 200 cities out of that even they actually wanted to take a bit more of us he said you know if you want your car back tomorrow you know I've got a bigger boss and you'd have to pay that bigger box I'm like bigger boss I'm like pay him what and for what he said well if you want them not to waste your time then you've got to pay I said so how much is it he said well some people bring like 300 cities I said ah I was like I, I couldn't even process what he was saying I just wanted to get out of there so we went and then the next day my husband had to go back with a guarantor just in case they found out that the accident was our fault so that we can't run away i mean it was pretty obvious everybody said that it was not our fault but anyway so after doing that my husband went back and then he ended up having to give the police 80 cities or something like that the police had to come back to the house just to see where we are the next day when we got our car back you know true to form it was just as bad as we thought it was the day before the front bonnet needed to be completely stripped off they had damaged the air conditioning they had damaged um, part of the front tire I mean the tire I think the tire was even burst we had to get the mechanic to come out to do it all in all the whole thing cost about 9,000 cities something like that to get it done and then we had to get the car resprayed because it was so badly damaged um, because we didn't have fully comprehensive comprehensive insurance but that's a whole nother story I'm not even gonna go into that why we didn't have fully comprehensive but we will from now on and anyway that is a very quick catch-up and this is a very short video just because I'm on the way to get my children's passport and um, because they had expired and I've been waiting so long for them um, and um, that's it and then I got to pick them up from school so this is a very quick video I'm really sorry that I haven't been around um, I've just been so busy so so busy um, but I will try and try and make my videos more consistent I'm really sorry about that um, and if you guys leave me comments or anything like that I will do my best to try and respond as much as I can and thank you for being patient with me um, I will do my best to be a bit more consistent I think yeah but anyway that's it I can hear my son outside he's waiting for me okay anyway guys until next time Sorry, I just had to log back on. I just needed to say one more thing. And that thing is that, do you know that um, the police officers said that they were going to find these guys who were on the motorbike and it never happened? The police said that they went to the police station to, not the police, said, to the hospitals to go and look for the guys and the guys were not there. They have disappeared. But a couple of weeks later, the, um, the police officer got back to us and said that two small boys came and was trying to get hold of the motorbike. They said that it was for their older brother and the older brothers could not walk. Um, and they've not been able to walk since the accident, so that's why they can't come and pick up the bikes themselves. To be honest with you, whether it's true or not, I don't know, but we just took it that our money's gone. Um, it was the end of it. There was nothing we could do. Um, we just had to we had to pay for it and move on because we couldn't we couldn't keep holding on to this thing and thinking oh let's hope they get them they get them even they get them I mean how much are they gonna pay us back of that money I'm not being funny but they didn't seem like they had money in the first place and they probably didn't have insurance so it just would have been a fight for nothing and sometimes there are bigger things in life we thank God that none of us in the car was hurt we didn't incur a hospital bill we had nothing apart from obviously to pay for the car I'd rather pay for a car than a life so that was it anyway i just had to quickly um jump back on and say that because i forgot so i'm gonna have to patch this thing together somehow but anyway gosh my hair's looking rough but never mind i'm, I'm too busy anyway guys until next time <laughs>